just when you thought this couldn't get any worse, any more chaotic. I give you this guy. I give you this guy. Uh, he's here for anyone that doesn't know. So, hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kelly Allen and welcome to yet another chaotic plant chores slash report with me. If you've missed the last two videos, I'm currently very unwell. My voice literally dips out when I talk sometimes. Sorry for smacking my mic. Clearly I'm very, just not with it today. I also get out of breath. So. We're going to be doing a series of mini repots and the like. That is so juicy. Oh, what a shame. That's such a juicy flower. But anyway, so this is Magnificum Verde. Now, he looks terrible. He's not. If you saw my last video with the Anthurium Crystallinum, that I don't know if you can see it. No, you probably can't. He's just at the back. He's grown down over because he was on top of a shelf. Same thing here. We're noticing a pattern. Yes, we are. So this guy was fine for a while, but he just got so big. And for reference, this is the size of my head. He's not small, okay? So, today, we're going to repot him, and I aim to get him stuck upright. And this is definitely going to stay in the unit for a little bit, until he sort of straightens out. Then I might take him to mine, put him on his own little plant stand, and he could just stand gloriously in a corner, right? Why is my Fitbit screaming at me? Apparently I've had my step count. I haven't, it's because I'm waving my hands so much. Excellent. So, same as last video, I'm going to depot him, get the shit out, look at him. I don't think he needs a butt cut, but if he does, we will do it. And I'm going to try and pull him up. I've got some canes, I've got some green shit, I've got some tape. We're going to try just getting him a little bit nicer, so we probably will have to zoom you out more at some point, but I will just sort of judge that as we go. So anyway, uh, let's get started. I need a bouquet. Uh, I have many bouquets, but I would like a new bouquet. So, as always, first thing to do is take it out of the outer. Umbosh. Genuinely hoping this one isn't as bad as the last repot. The last repot was horrific, guys. It was absolutely horrific. But you never know. So, I'm going to try and get the substrate out. The, the fiddliness in this one will be the staking it up and the repotting it nicely, because it's already got a lean on, but I do think we can counteract some of that lean. Not loads, but some. So, I think I'll have to try and put this pot into this pot. I'm going to try and whiz you around like this and see what I can disturb first of all on the surface, because sometimes I feel like that just helps. Like that. Ooh, roots galore. I love that. Not. Oh god, I think it's going to be... Oh, don't. Don't make this like the last video. I can't cope. Guys, I don't have the strength for this. I really don't have the strength. Let me just move a bit. I need to get well situated around this. <sighs> Can't be dealing with this, you know. It's my own fault. It's my own fault. It's been kept way too long, but as you can probably tell by some of these flowers, they've been kept for flowering purposes, so they're being kept pot bound, they're being kept in the heat. Didn't super matter how they grew, they just had to produce good flowers and, and they have really. So alas, I didn't I didn't do anything about it. And every time I wanted to repot it, there was a flower coming that we needed. So it didn't get repotted. But because they're continuously flowering, it's got to the point where it just has to just has to stop, you know. Oh my god, okay. I have to lift this higher. This foliage is so long. I'm just going to hurt this foliage. I already know. I don't want to. Can you see how amazing that foliage is behind me? Oh, not again. I can't do this again. If you didn't know, obviously, I'm doing all this on the one day and I can't cope, guys. I'm so emotionally damaged at this point. <sighs> trying to do the basic pull. It's doing nothing. Yet another wedged specimen, but this looks like it could be butt cut. So I will definitely do that if I can. Oh, can I just pull an individual root? That's a terrible idea, Kaylee. Why would you want to pull an individual root? Why would you do this? Why? Oh my god. See, when shit like this happens, there's there's really no solution. You just need brute force to get it out. I don't have brute force. Oh fuck. Damn. If you're wondering what the white is on my hands, by the way, I mistakenly touched a really old Elho label on one of the side of the outer pots, and now it is stuck to me. Oh my god. What if I, like, smack it? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I'm just staring at that new foliage, because if there's any foliage I want to keep, it's obviously that. Come on. Ah, houseplants, eh? Come on. Same thing as last, it's because it's grown right against the pot, it's sort of like suctioned itself on. It's just impossible to pull. <sighs> I'm gonna get loads of comments like, sorry, I can't watch your content anymore, it's too stressful. <gasps> We've got it. We've got it. No, really, we have got it. Oh, great. 
great, great, great. Oh, so I do see a bit of rot on the bottom. I don't know how I'm going to hold this. This is a bloody heavy plant. I do see a bit of... Uh, do I say rot? It was rot. It's now complete. Just dead. So that's good. I know it sounds bad, but it's good because it means I can definitely get this smaller. And honestly, that's my main aim. For the moment, I'm just doing a little bit on to try and get the pond out. Because luckily, there's a fair bit of pond coming out. Again, I'm still trying to watch that new foliage. Ugh. God, it's still not great, don't mind. Right, that can be removed. Oh, this isn't anywhere near as bad as I thought. Thank God, because I'll tell you some of that crystallinum. If you haven't seen it, when you've got a strong stomach, feel free. Feel free, guys. I do these things so you absolutely never do. You feel me? Right, this is really good. I'm really happy with this. I know you're probably thinking, uh, why? But I just am. Now, this is dead. For you. Don't panic. I am literally pulling off root that's completely desecrated which I'm sure we will get to in due course. I'm just having to <sighs> massage the pond away. Try this side. Oh, this side's rock solid. Oh, ho, ho, ho. shit, that's solid. Oh, no. Oh, the foliage. Really having to get in there. So this side of the pot's good. That side's good. It's just a nice lump of pond in here that I need to get somehow. There's not a lot of ways on to just try and get your fingers in and pull it. Oh, come on. I'm surprised I haven't gone through these gloves yet. I've got long nails underneath the gloves. And they're intact, somehow. Plants are still stress relieving, they said. Oh, I love just a nice Friday evening just repotting, they said. It's just so, is it? So relaxing. So sensual. Easy tech. Easy tech. Right. <sighs> Nearly there. They have a lump here. At this point, I think the lump's actually root. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I keep forgetting, I keep forgetting. We do actually have a bit of... Again, I would say rot, but because I know these things get underwatered, it's more than likely just, uh, you know, underwatering and then it's been watered, then it's rotted, if that makes any sense. Oh, I'd snap that. Get that off. Um, I think that's ready to put on the ground and sort of trim, if I'm honest. If I can gently put that on the ground. Oh, no. Oh, don't. Can really gently lie that flat. Oh, no, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> oh, God, there is no nice way. There is no nice way. What about this way? Does that work? Does it? Does it? No. Nope. Right, that's the best way. That is the best way. You will not be able to see the foliage here. Um, many things have occurred. You will not be able to see it, but I can't do much about it. Let me just stretch my legs out because that hurt. Oh, it's not good for your legs, you know. Right, hydration. Today I'm hydrating with the classic Pepsi Max. Hmm. What happens now? I hear you ask. Well, well kids, we now have to just work out what's going on with this because I don't know if you can tell, I really hope you can on camera, there's so much shit on the bottom that has just died. But oh, not only that, and you absolutely won't be able to see this, there's like a huge nodule on the bottom where I've obviously got the original plant from and it's massive. I'd like to cut that, but in order to do it, I've got to separate all this, and I don't think it's separatable because it's been there so long, it's sort of intertwined itself. So if I cut it, which I'm still going to try and cut it, don't get me wrong, I just have to kind of hope that this shit separates because, oh no, oh, I just have to snap it. Sorry, there will be, I know I said no snapping, there will be some snapping. I can't avoid it, but I will try to not snap things where I can. You need to understand just how welded this is together. There's not a lot that can be done at this point. But again, I, I need these things to be all right sizes for the pot. Do I cut it or do I leave it, guys? Mm. I mean, it did have a lot of root and I haven't actually lost any, have I? So I probably do need to cut it. The <sighs> question is how, man? You see what I'm saying? If I can just... I hope you can see this. If I can just take this nodule off, we should get... A lot of root off but still keep a lot of root and i think that is the vibe because i don't mind if this gets slightly smaller for a bit and then it has to get bigger because it's a bloody big boy do you know what i mean like I, I can i can cope i can deal with it i'm okay with it i've made peace with it when you got this much um of an issue due to like neglect or, or whatever i honestly think you just have to put up with whatever comes your way and this is just one of these things i mean look at this man it's just it's just wedged together it is separatable and yeah if i had 10 hours I could probably separate this a lot better, but I don't have 10 hours, guys. I know it'll be all right. Hang on, this one's... Ooh, what's going on with this one? This looks kind of separatable. Oh, no. Well, it was until we got over here. That is not going anywhere. 
Oh god. Right, hang on. Hang on a momento. Right, that's that's not terrible. Look, look, look. Right. It's still there. Where does this one come from? Up top, so I think this is the end. Right, they've grown back on themselves, I think. Wonderful. Love that. Love that for us. This is separating so much better than the crystalline one. I think, I, I want to say they were parted up. I mean, they probably weren't parted up at a similar time, but I don't, I don't think they were too far off. Maybe I'm wrong. Right, guys, we're cooking with gas now, I think, because this is starting to separate a bit better. Will there be loss? Yes. Do we care? Yes. Do we do anything about it? <laughs> Maybe yes. But we're not going to do anything about it, guys. We're just gonna we're gonna run with it. Right, this is better. Look, oh my god, this is so much better. Okay, I promise this is gonna all be worth it. Sorry, you probably came for a nice chill. You probably thought, oh my god, the trauma of the last video. Can we do it again? No. I will watch this less chaotic one, and then I give you, I give you guys more chaos, more chaos. But you know what? I bet all the other plan YouTubers are really just taking their time, doing it well. <laughs> this is my. <laughs> This is my way of bringing you something different, eh? This is, this is where we're at, guys, in 2024. We're gonna have to kill my plants in order to come up with some original content. Right, so, what's this boy doing? Like, where's he from? Where are you from, bro? Cause he's, like, he comes all the way up here. Why? Do you see what I'm saying? Right, there. What about you, dude? You're from up top. Right, okay. So can I have a bit of you then? Right, now we've untangled quite a bit. A lot of it's coming out reasonably easy without damage. So that's good. This is this is what you want. Right, where's the, where are you from? Right there, yes, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. I'm telling you, I'm doing better now. Much better, look at that. I will have to shake this and get off the root that has broken because... If I pot it up like this and there's dead stuff, it's just going to rot and it's going to be sat in rot. That may occur to an extent anyway, but if I can minimise it, then great. Right. I, I want you to know, guys, this was necessary. <laughs> it honestly was. Because again, anyone asking, I don't have a bigger pot. This is the same size pot as the one the crystalline was in in the last video, guys. Same size. I will work on getting more. I just don't have them at the minute. And this really can't go any longer. These need to start sorting themselves out. So, right, this is this is not bad. Where do you where do you originate? What are you? Oh, you originate down below. Oh, look at you. Right, you know what? This is about there now. We give this a shake. This may offend some of you, but see how bad it is. Oh, it's not that bad at all. It is not that bad at all. That's attached. That's fine. She says his bits drop off. That's fine. That's fine. Good. Brush that out of the way so I know what I'm dealing with. Guys, that's really minimal compared to the last video. I think I think we can all agree there. Definitely. Right, so, okay, we can all breathe a little bit now. So what I'm saying is, if I do a bit of a cut on it, this set of roots here would stay like so. I'll just gently sort of move them like that. This would stay here. Can you see where I'm getting at here? This would stay. This would stay. Uh, oh Lord, that's tangled. Hang on. That, whatever's going upwards will stay, right? That can even stay. Why not? Why not? You've got the best chance since it's probably going to do something upsetting. For sure. That can all stay. This can stay as well. What are you, sir? You can stay up there. Now, that seems like a really obvious place to cut for me. Like, so we've got a stump here with root mass, and then we've got all of that up there. It's not a ton. Let's just have a look and see how much hangs. It's not a ton, but it, it's it's not bad. Either that or I don't cut it at all. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I do think I need to lose a bit of root mass, though, if I'm completely honest. And Unless loads of shit starts falling off, which it hasn't. I think we cut it, guys. Maybe I could leave a bit more on the Y intended to. How about that? So what if... What if, what if we compromise, guys? What if we compromise? So, what are you? I'm just doing more ripping, obviously. What if we cut it here? Instead of cutting it up here, what if I cut it around here? <sighs> so he can belong up top as well. Hang on a minute. He maybe can't. We need something down below. Bloody hell, there's no point in cutting this at all. May as well have not bothered. Right. He can stay down here. And the top part can. That's very minimal reduction, isn't it? Let's try that. Oh, Lord. Might lose a bit of root here. No, there we go. That's cool. So there's one stump that I can pot later. It's not. It's not bad. It's not bad. It. It you might not think it helps, but it, it probably will. Um, and then we could just keep what's left now, because I think we've taken enough away from him, don't you? I do. Like, is that going to break as well? Probably. That's already broken. We'll get rid of that. One more shake. Yeah, he needs to stay as he is now. That's a lot more lost, but I think it's probably worth it in the long run. So I want to make sure this is attached. Yeah, it is. I get worried when I say a big clump hanging at the bottom. So that's what we're working with anyway. So we're going to pot him like that. I suspect this has got to come off. Can you see this? I suspect this has to come off here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lie him back down. 
I'll zoom you back out because I don't think it's useful having you where you currently are. Zoom me back out. Move all these away. I know, it's terrible, I know. But it's a necessary evil. All right, I'll put that over there. Right, so I think that's more than enough root. Bloody hell, that's tons. Tons! And I know Anthurium can grow quite well off not a lot of root. They're, you know, they're very good epiphytes, so I'm not that worried, actually. If you look at the amount of root for that, there's still... Can you see that? No, I moved it. I moved it. Sorry, sorry. If you look at the amount of root for that, we're still, we're still great. So that's what we're doing. But I do think I'm going to have to lose this foliage at the back. You'll see that in a moment, don't worry. Um, we'll tackle the staking issue maybe after. I've got canes and things, but I don't think I'm going to be able to cut them, you know. So we'll just leave that for now. I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to line the bottom with a bit of pawn, obviously. Same way as you would any pot. A little bit more. I'm not going to do a ton because this is very deep and these roots are very long, so I can't really get away with just planting it further up. I'm going to try and grab that. I don't really have a vibe for which way it's going to sit yet. I'm just going to pop it in. See, already that's a lot of root. Like That's a concerning amount of root for this pot. I'm, I won't lie to you guys. It's not ideal, that. I might have to take a bit of pawn out and just... Why are not that much pawn in? Yeah, for any smart people in the comments, obviously this is absolutely a candidate for a higher a higher pot, a larger pot, but it just, it's not going to happen today, guys, so we're, we're doing what we should not do at all. But that's a little bit better. We push them down. I'm going to not push them down hard, but enough for them to just gently sit. And now, I have to cut all these off. Now I'm going to have to just put the pawn in around it. Fun, fun. Right, there a bit. Try and hold it as straight as I can see it looks. Actually really hard to tell, if I'm honest. Look like this, like that. Eh. Again, ooh, no, no, no. Move around a bit, ooh, it's nearly, nearly done there. I'll push it a bit, but I don't want to push it too much. Another, maybe one more on the top. That might be enough, you know. I don't want to put it too close to the top because it's just a nightmare otherwise. Right, you know what? That, see what I mean about bloody stickers? There we go. That is not horrific. This can come off though. I don't want that there. It's an old petiole, but I think it'll be fine. So, 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 can you see? No! I might have to zoom you out yet again. You see any of this? You might need zoomed out. I think just a couple of stakes should do it, you know. I don't think it needs much. Let me try and fix you again. Very difficult, I know. Uh, up a bit. Alright. Uh, I'm going to have to be about there. Now that is genuinely the best I can do. Okay. That is what you're getting from me today, guys. It can't be any better than that. Before I tackle these other two leaves, I just turn it backwards. Because this is going to be the best way we can see me staking it. I want to use at least two of the beautiful, big, awesome stakes that I used for the big plow money eye last time. So I just think, it's not exactly foolproof, but I just think if I just put two in, like this, uh, on the other side of the flower there, I think that's put down as far as it's going to go without snapping something. I mean, I might have gone through a root, but there's no real way of knowing. So i just do two like that, right? Mm, honestly, it's, it's quite difficult. But then, that's going to seemingly have done nothing. But, I found the tape. Mm, found the tape. From, what, two weeks ago now. Cut about that much, doesn't need a lot. Oh, I did split my gloves, I might just notice. Special sticker to those of you that noticed before now. Um, I want to just sort of cluster it like that and hopefully that should keep it upright, I think. I don't think it needs too much. If I just do that, where's the outer port? Yeah, if I just empty that, put that in there, right? That's a repotted boy. I mean, I could cut the lower foliage off because, to be honest, we might get a problem anyway because I've taken away his roots, right? So it might be a good idea. If I turn him around for you, you'll see my issues quite quickly. It's this guy, and I think I am going to cut him, guys. I don't think it's going to help him in any way, shape, or form to have this big boy on here. 
that's not so bad. And that can probably be sort of trained up a little bit. I could put a little something something there, right? Oh, I've put crap all over the gooey flour. But this, this ain't going anywhere. I promise you it's not. I know this seems drastic, but I mean, at this point, it probably doesn't seem drastic, does it? I'm going to cut that because I, I don't see a way forward for it, which is a big shame because he's very nice. But I will show you him up close just so you can understand how cute he is. Because why not? Yes. Look at him. Isn't he nice? He's a big boy. Hang on. Let me get down here. There you go. That is, that's almost a thumbnail. Let me just position myself for a thumbnail. You never know. Let's see what we got. Oh my God, he's so cool. <gasps> Look at him. Oh, that is so awesome. Cool. Love him. We'll keep him. We won't really keep him. So anyway, so I can probably try, maybe not with the tape. Could do it with the tape. Uh, I'll try a bit of tape. I don't want to use too much of this, but I'll cut another section of tape. It's about, if you want how much I'm cutting, I'm cutting like eight inches of tape or something like that. You can get different tape than this. This is like, to be honest, this is quite heavy duty this. But if I just sort of try, see this is the problem, I don't want to do it too much because then it might pull the canes over and then it's got too much of a lean on. I do that, that's not bad. Does it look great? No, no, not at all. It doesn't look terrible, does it? How's that, we think? Does he look, you know, uh, he needs a bit of a dust off now, doesn't he? He's got a bit, a bit of shit on him. That's him, basically, guys. I don't think this has gone that badly. It's not gone amazingly. Let me just top this up, actually. I could do with a little bit more. Looks a bit sparse now I'm looking at it. I don't think it's gone badly. I just, it's, it's always sad when you've got to take roots away like that, but I, I, I just can't. I really can't. Can't do it. We will, again, with the same with the crystallinum, if it starts looking really sexy, um, he wants a bigger pot. I, I will do that. you got to remember it's a lot of pond as well. Pond's not cheap, so it does take a lot to do this. So as for him on the on here, it's either that or cut him. I think I'll keep him like that for now, but if he proves to be a bit of a problem, which hopefully he will not, then I will have to cut him. But until then, he's all right. He's all right. You see what he looks like on the thumbnail? On the thumbnail? On the viewfinder is what I meant. Yeah, he looks all right, doesn't he? He's a big boy, though. Guaranteed big boy. So... There you go. That is him. That is apparently, anyway, um, Anthurium Magnificum Verde. And which way do I move him to get him in? I move him forward, not back. Um, yeah, Anthurium Magnificum Verde with a big ass flower that's so juicy. Uh, and that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. Let me know that you're enjoying this chaos that will have before you, really. Uh, my socials are on the screen. The link to my feed is in the description. I would grab it, but I can't. It's all the way over there. I don't know if you can see it or not. Maybe you can. I think it's just behind this leaf. And what else? Merch as well. Merch is in the description as well. So anyway, that's it for this week's video, guys. Hopefully I'm getting better soon. I filmed these in bulk. We'll see. But thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.